Hey guys, my name is Christina and welcome back to my channel. I am here today with another new video after a while of not filming because I got my wisdom teeth taken out and I moved out of my dorm room and back home for the summer and got a job, which I love so much. But uh, today I am going to be giving you guys my tips and what I learned from my first year of college and I wrote them down in this little book. The day that this video is going to be posted will be one month from when I moved out of my dorm room. So let's get into the tips and what I learned. So when I first got to college, it was incredibly scary. Like moving into your dorm room is very scary because you're away from your parents, you're alone for the first time and you're like, wow, what am I going to do? Like, there's no one to help you. Well, there are people to help you, but you don't really feel that way. You feel like you're kind of alone in this situation, even though you have, like, your roommate right next to you, and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I want to go back home. And they have to kind of, like, calm you down from the situation because, uh, it's scary. It's very scary. Um, like, being scared about moving into a new situation is going to happen in life like you're always going to be in a new situation with new people around you and yeah it's going to be scary but it's a part of life and it just means that you're growing up which is also very scary so when i got to college i brought a lot of stuff and i used like half of it so my next tip is you do not need everything that you think you need like, it's good to have just in case, but, like, I didn't need a toolkit. I didn't use my sewing kit because my mom sews, so whenever I would need something to be sewed, I brought it home. But it's always good to have, like, um, more than you need because if you do need it or if someone else, like, in your dorm room needs it, you can, like, let them borrow it. Um, I don't know if it, the same thing works with other dorms, but with my dorm, I was a, in, a, like, a community because we all have, like, the same classes. Because I was in a, um, I am, I am still in it. I'm in a program called Watauga Residential College, and basically it's like, I don't know how to explain it. You can't really explain it. It's like a bunch of people coming together for classes and living together. So it's a very integrated community, and we all know each other, basically. But we also live with people, the teaching community, which is ACES and the foreign exchange students. So we only knew like our people, unless you were both, which I think only one person was both a Watagan and an ace. I'm not sure about that. I think so. Yeah. People all the time in my dorm would ask like on our Facebook page, like if they would need something and people would say, yeah, I have it or no, or go to Walmart. Walmart or say some things that were very inappropriate, but that's college, like you're you're all adults, you all say things appropriately. Did I say y'all? Wow, I'm becoming Southern. <laughs> so also in my dorm we had bathrooms connected, so we had one room, a bathroom, and then another room with two people. So it was kind of a U-shaped, and I got really lucky with that. I didn't have hall style, but if you do, um, I talked to some people about it and they said that after a while it wasn't bad It was just like getting used to going down the hallway take to um, go to the bathroom and take a shower But they also said that the toilet paper ran out really quickly, which we had to buy our own toilet paper So that didn't happen, but once I think we ran out and someone got mad about it, but you know That's, <laughs> that's another story um, But yeah having a bathroom in your dorm room is the nicest thing because you don't have to go down the hall in order to go to the bathroom you can just have your little privacy because there's a door that closes so there's like three doors if you saw my um dorm room tour then you'll know what i'm talking about because i showed you my bathroom um yeah it's also really nice when you're taking a shower because you don't have to like wait for people and then go out in your towel and be uh, have to awkwardly go down the hall college classes are so Oh, much different from high school classes. Like in college classes, teachers, professors, uh, I keep getting that wrong. I keep saying the wrong thing. Um, professors will cancel classes or they'll just not show up and you're just like, okay, I guess I'll just leave because they're not here. And you can like skip classes and it, it does count for against something. It depends on your professor. Like my film class, it didn't count so a lot of people skipped very often. And, um, so a lot of people would often skip that class 
and it wouldn't count against them because all we really had to do was watch movies and write papers. The class was really like not needed, I guess you could say. It could have been an online class and it would have been fine, but it wasn't. <laughs> but I passed with an A, so I'm okay with that. What was the fact? Oh, college classes. Yeah. Um, also, professors in college classes will like curse and say words that high school teachers can't because no one really cares in college. So yeah. Also, professors will give you help if you need it because a lot of people, if they skip a lot of classes, they end up starting to fail their classes or if you're just taking a really hard class and um, you're not doing too well, they have their office hours so you can like go visit them and get advice and help from them. Sometimes they do extra credit, sometimes they don't. It, it prevents. It depends on your professor. But yeah, I didn't really go to office hours because I wasn't really failing any of my classes, so I was okay with that. Plus, professors kind of scare me because they're like, I don't know, it's weird. Some of them didn't, like my Spanish professor, she was really nice. So I would, I did, I, I don't really, I didn't really talk to any of my professors, but if I was going to, I would go to her because she was really nice. Along with teachers not really caring because your work is your work. Like you have to do the work, you are responsible. This is not like high school where your teacher has, like, is being graded on this as well as you. Your professor really doesn't care. You're paying for these classes. It is your responsibility to get everything done. Along with that, the people around you, they don't care. They really don't care what you look like. They don't care what you're wearing. You could literally be wearing a Snuggie on a scooter and you'd be fine. I've seen so many people on campus do that and th no one cares. But it is kind of nice to dress appropriately for your classes because it's just showing your professor's respect and that's always a good thing to do because it's showing that you care enough to present yourself in a way that makes you seem more of an adult, which is, um, which is nice, I guess. During finals week, I don't think very many people showed up in pajamas. I know a lot of, during finals week, a lot of people tend to not dress up. They wear, like, athletic wear or, like, comfortable clothing because you're staying up all night and you're studying and it's stressful and you just want to be comfortable yeah but yeah people really don't care i once saw it was around um thanksgiving i saw a guy on sanford mall which is like uh, the big uh space between the student union and the main dining hall i saw a guy wearing a turkey costume and playing frisbee and it was the greatest thing i think i've ever seen i just <laughs> it was so great. Yeah, along with the turkey costume, college kids are like giant kids. We, um, I don't know, it's like everything you wanted to do as a child that you did and you couldn't do because in high school because you were considered too grown up, you did in college because no one's around to tell you that you can't. So people would play frisbee, they would play with dogs, oh, there are so many dogs on campus. I loved it so much, I love dogs, and I was so happy whenever I saw a dog on campus, like, mmm. But yeah, um, there's a lot of games that like tag, and there's fun things that get you like to de-stress. There's a lot of events, like there was a lightsaber battle, I think, either before finals week of the second semester, or during finals week, I don't remember because it was so long ago. But I remember that and like there's a ton of events that go on and they're all like free because college students have no money for anything. <laughs> it's just a thing because we pay so much for tuition or our parents do and we just don't have the money to spend on things and items. You will eat everything that you ate as a child because you have the freedom to do so and with meal plan money you need to spend that like i had like five hundred dollars by the last like two months and i needed to spend it so i bought like everything that i ate as a child plus all of it's offered in the market so it's a good time it's a good time that's where the freshman 15 comes in because you're eating all this junk and if you're not at a school like mine where it's there's so many hills and stuff 
you will um, not get enough exercise to be able to keep your weight where you want it to be. <sighs> your roommates and your be your sweet mates or your just your roommate, if, if it depends on where you live, like how your style, how your dorm style is, but they could be some of your best friends. Like I'm living with one of my ro my roommate and one of my sweet mates that I lived with last year next year in an apartment and we just mesh so well together. We're really good friends and I'm so excited to be living with them. But sometimes I know one person switched their room like three times and they just didn't like their roommate. So sometimes that happens and it's okay to not like your roommate. You have to get to know them and as well as like figure out if you two mesh and I just happened to get lucky enough to mesh with my roommate and one of my sweet mates the other one not so much but that's that's a different story that I probably won't ever share but it's okay yeah along with meeting new people you need to go outside of your comfort zone because that is the only way to get through college like I know a lot of people that went to my high school that said they hated college and that's because they peaked at high school and they weren't as popular in college and it kind of made them like not like it as much but you need to realize that you're in a different place with new people everyone's new that's a freshman and you have to go outside of your comfort zone because that's the way to meet new people and get to know where you fit in like I went in high school from theater to playing two sports in college like that was never a plan for me and it just happened to happen like I played Quidditch and I played soccer my first semester and I I loved it I fell in love with it I loved running and being active and I think that helped with me not gaining the freshman 15 which is 15 pounds your freshman year because of all the junk food you eat but yeah I think that um Getting out of your comfort zone is the best way to open up and like find out who you are. Also going to like the club fair at the beginning of the year is a great way to get involved with the school and see where you want to be and what you want to do throughout your four years. It's that's where I found Quidditch and now I I'm a part of a team which is crazy and I play a full tackle sport. Ah. <laughs> Being a part of a club slash sport is worth the experience. Like I can tell you that being a part of the Quidditch team has made me so much more confident in my abilities and more confident in like being more confident around people because I'm able to like play a sport and like be a part of a team that's very um, open and loving. And I don't know, it's just a really good environment to be around with people that have the same interests as you because you, um, you learn a lot more about yourself and about, like, who you want to be around and who you don't. Like, I've completely changed from high school and I'm okay with it because it's who I am now and it's all part of the experience. Okay. Saying that, being outgoing and everything, sometimes putting aside some time for yourself is a good thing because I know I'm very introverted so whenever I go to like a tournament or I go out with friends and I do that for like a week, I need that weekend to like be by myself and chill because I don't think I can handle like being around people 24-7 even though I lived with people but sometimes things would happen and they would like go away for the weekend and stuff like that. But being alone too much is not a good thing. You need to go out and um, do stuff. You need to find a good balance between the two. And I kind of did, th I did that first semester, but second semester it wasn't great because I had a ton of schoolwork, which is super important. Always get your schoolwork done because it does count for everything. And studying is super important. I cannot stress how important studying is like in high school I didn't have to study at all and I would get A's but if I didn't study for a college exam I would completely fail it and it's not good it's really not good you need to study like that's if there's one thing that you learn from this video is study and get out of your comfort zone because yeah all of these things are super important that I'm saying but those are the two like main important things Speaking of studying, finals week. Finals week will be 
the most stressful week of your life, of your semester. Yeah, it's super stressful. Um, because everyone's studying, everyone's trying to be quiet, and when you're studying and you hear someone being loud, you're like, are you kidding me? I need to study. I really need to pass this class. Like, please stop. Just, just stop. Like, my second semester, I did so, I did so much studying. It was insane. And I passed all of my classes, which is really great. But it was so stressful, and I had so many mental breakdowns. Like, it's... It wasn't a good time, but it's okay because I got through it, and now I'm a stronger person because of it. Um, yeah, but finals week is crazy. Like, the library is packed. Rooms are packed. Like, in my dorm, we had classrooms, and they were full, and it was just, like, stressful. It was so stressful. Which leads me to mental health. Your mental health is so important. If there's one thing that I learned th about myself is that I didn't take my mental health in consideration over my physical health. Both are super important, but your mental health is really important because that's what gets you through the studying and through all of your classes and stuff. So it's really important to keep your mind in check and to like take breaks and go hiking if you live in the mountains like me. I loved hiking. Hiking is a great way to relieve stress and stuff. But if you live near the beach, like go to the beach or just walk around town. But yeah, there's always things to do if you get stressed. And there's always ways to help that. Like there's a um, there's like counselors at my school that are free for students, along with like your yeah. There's like yeah, and people go to them. And there's classes. There's like time slots and stuff for that. So if you need to um, go to counseling, it's okay. It's not like a weird thing to do. A lot of people that I know went to counseling because college is such a stressful environment that you need someone to talk to. Like always talk, have someone that you can talk to because this is a very stressful time. The freshman 15 is incredibly possible to gain because you're around so much food that you're not used to eating and it's always available. Like there's always pizza, there's always like burgers and stuff, which I don't eat red meat, so that's not an option for me, but there's always like fried foods and stuff and there's always a salad bar which is good but sometimes it's like canned stuff and it's just not good for you. So you have to um, make sure to have a good balance of what you're eating because sometimes you can overdo it and like eat all the junk food and not save room for like the healthy stuff. But you do have to spend the money, so it's like, well, what do I do? Do I just buy all the fruit at the markets, or all the healthy stuff at the markets? Because there's always healthy stuff, like fruits and vegetables at the markets, even though sometimes they're not that great. So this is like a personal thing for me, but not eating red meat helps with your health a lot. Like, if you want to eat meat, go ahead. I'm not, ad I'm not saying that you have to do this, but I cut out red meat from my diet, and it helped with like keeping the weight, the freshman 15 off. Also, I go to a school with a lot of hills, so it's kind of like I wasn't going to gain the freshman 15 anyway. Plus I did sports. Sorry for that noise, that is my neighbor. Um, I also do sports, so it kind of helps with keeping the weight off. Eating healthy is great for keeping the weight off too. You just have to find a good balance. That's, what I, that's a good thing to do in college in general is find a good balance with like everything. Along with like gaining weight, um, there is zero pressure to go to parties and drink and because um, it's always up to you. If you don't want to do something, then you don't have to. Like, don't feel like you have to do something just because your friends are doing it. Because you have to have your own morals and your own life. And yeah, like, you don't always have to do something if you don't want to do it. No one's going to force you to drink or to go to parties. Like. There's all, if you want to, there's always a party going on every weekend because there's frat houses and sororities that are always having parties and people in general just always have parties. We're getting to the last few. Um, moving out, moving out of your dorm room, well, at least for me, was incredibly sad, but it was also like, nice because I'm moving into like an apartment next year so I'll be 
able to do more things than I was able to this year, but it's just like sad to see a part of your life just leave, I guess. I'm gonna cry, this is gonna be bad. Um, but for me, moving out was incredibly weird because it was like, but this is my home. Like I've been here for eight months, I think it was, and I've grown to love it. Even though people say that they hated dorm life, I absolutely loved it because I lived with my friends and I lived where I was taking classes and it was amazing. And it was just like one of the best years of my life and it's so weird to think that it's over. Like living in a dorm is over, my freshman year is over. Oh, it's so weird. This is why I had so much trouble trying to film this video because I knew I was going to cry and I was going to get emotional and I didn't think I was ready. <sighs> it's crazy. Okay, let's move to the last tip and last thing that I learned. This, your freshman year, will go by incredibly quickly. So you have to um, treasure every moment and make it your own and make it something that you love. Because if you don't, then like, what's the point? There's no point in doing something that you don't love because then you're not happy and your happiness is the most important thing to your mental health and to you having the best year that you can. And I had the best year that I think I could have had, even though I probably should have went to more Quidditch tournaments and practices, but you know, I had a ton of schoolwork and I got sick through like the last half of the semester because of like all the rain and stuff because Boone is incredibly like rainy and just dreary during the spring. Summer is great, fall is great, winter uh, uh, uh. but I don't know, it just went by so fast and I wish it could have gone a little slower so I could like, I don't know, I don't know, it's weird to think about like how quickly it went because oh, it just makes me so sad that it's over but I'm happy to be going back in a few months and to see everyone again and take more classes it's gonna be stressful but it's gonna be great oh I love college so those are all the things that I learned during my first year of college I might have missed some because I wrote these down kind of quickly and yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was so much fun to do because I love talking about my college and my experiences and giving you guys advice because I love giving advice to people, even though sometimes it's not that great, but I just love helping people. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe down below if you wanna see more things from me. Yeah, I have a good few videos planned. I hope you're going to like them because I'm super excited to film them. And I will see you guys next week with another new video. Bye!